Hi, Professor Tomlin. This is Marianne Phillips, and this is my PowerPoint um, on Vygotsky's theory. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. My first slide is theory socio culture. Um, it tells us that learning is basically a social process and it requires the support of parents any caregivers and that society and culture play a crucial role in the development of higher psychological functions. Um, he's telling us that pretty much it's all cult culture and social based. Um, his approach to child development is a form of social constructism based on the idea that cognitive functions are the products of social interactions and lessons. Constructivism in problem-based learning. When implementing this into the classroom in a problem-based learning scenario, you can have your students work in groups or pairs. Students can form their own questions and work on their own to find the answers. They can use their peers as a resource and gain knowledge from them. This will help students to become more independent and not dependent on others to help them find the answers. A constructive teacher will create situations in where she is able to challenge the assumptions which traditional teaching and learning are based. Now a good class project um, I've actually seen done before and actually got to help a little bit on it um, is a class creating a garden. Um, they start at the beginning of the year and they work on it throughout the entire year. At the end of the year, they plant things and they start to see everything grow. And then through the summer, they can come back and pick things for their families. But um, this is a great project that incorporates constructivist problem-based learning. Um, students will work in groups to design, create, plant, and then nurture the garden. This helps them problem solve. They listen to others' thoughts and opinions. And if they're successful in working together and solving these problems, their garden will be successful. Um, if they can work in groups to design this and do their layout and really figure out the best way to make this garden, um, to actually grow things and get things out of it, they'll be successful as long as they do their research and work together. Um, but yes, this is a really fun class project to watch and get to be part of and the kids really enjoy it. So thank you.